Greetings and welcome to my new calculus channel. My name is John Gabriel. So I was recently asked by one of the members, or not members, but one of the visitors on the new calculus discord, if there is such a thing as a transcendental number. So I've had some videos in the past, but I can't remember all of them. I created some, but it's so far back. So I decided to uh, produce another one explaining very quickly. So of all the stupid mainstream mathematics academic doc doctrines and also the most laughable drivel is the concept called a transcendental number. And why? Well, first of all, we need to know what they define a transcendental number as. So they say it's either a real or a complex number that is not algebraic. Now, be very careful there. It says that is not algebraic. <laughs> the problem is that in order to be algebraic, okay, um, such an expression must contain symbols and be combined using only the operations of addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and exponentiation with constant rational exponents. Okay? So in other words, <laughs> it has to be a number. So the adjective finite is redundant, first of all, because there's no such thing as an infinite number of symbols. And to be algebraic, an object so considered must be a number. Now, the fucking morons of the last two or three hundred years have had problem defining number. They don't know what a number is. That's why you have so many of them not being able to understand why you cannot say that 0 0.333 dot 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 is well defined as a third. It's not. It's garbage. And it was started by that profound Swiss idiot called Leonard Euler. So mainstream academics have no clue what is a number. They never have. And no one after Euclid and before me understood these things. I understand these things better than any human alive, or any human at least in the last 2,300 years. So to say that a transcendental object is a number is already a contradiction, because to, be, to not be algebraic implies no number. Now, of course, this is a typical mainstream definition defining objects in terms of attributes they do not possess. But if it does not possess the attribute of being a number, how can they call it a number? Because they're fucking morons. It's as simple as that. So that any number cannot be algebraic is gibberish. So there's no such thing as a transcendental number. And then, of course, finally, to say not the root of a non-zero polynomial of five degree is saying that a failed measure of a ratio is being referred to. So, for example, you want to call pi a number, you have a problem because it doesn't measure any ratio. And a number is a name given to a measure that describes a ratio of magnitudes. There is no number that describes uh, the ratio of a circle circumference to its diameter that describes the measure of that ratio. And this directly implies that the constant pi cannot be a number. Of course, when we use pi, it is always a number because it is uh, a finite number of symbols, which is kind of stupid saying a finite number of symbols because there isn't uh, anything such as an infinite number. So these facts all confirm that the incorrigible morons of mainstream mathematics academia have never understood the concept of number. And of course, then came along that idiot George Cantor and just took uh, things a lot more south than they already were. So the whole mainstream community consists of a dung pile of fools who have zero aptitude in mathematics and should have f perhaps followed a janitorial course of study rather than try to engage with concepts that are way above their heads. If you're not a rare subscriber, become one. Follow me on academia.edu. Click like, tell your friends about this, your parents, your priests, everyone else that you know. I'm John Gabriel. Until next time, goodbye.